So today I'm going to show you how to make easy do-it-yourself bath bombs. So you're going to need one small bowl for your wet ingredients and one large bowl for your dry. You're going to need a half a cup of citric acid, a half a cup of baking soda, and a quarter cup of cornstarch, a quarter cup of coconut oil, some food coloring for some pigment, and some essential oils of choice. Now I got my starter pack off of Amazon, which I'll have a link below. It actually came in a five pack, and the one I'm using today is Floral Favorites, because I like the rose garden scent. So first we're going to add the half a cup of citric acid in our dry ingredient bowl, a half a cup of baking soda, and the quarter cup of cornstarch. Now cornstarch does like to stick on things, so just tap out the bowl or scrape it out if you need to. You want to make sure that you get everything out. So once you have everything in your dry ingredient bowl, you can go ahead and stir it because you want to make sure it's well mixed. So just stir it all together, combine it, scrape off your edges. Just make sure it's well mixed together before you add in your liquid. So scrape, 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 stir, 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 mix. And once you're happy with that, you can put your quarter cup of coconut oil in your small bowl. And you're going to add your essential oils. Now I put between 5 and 10 drops just because I do like them to smell strong. If you don't want them to smell that strong, you can put between 3 and 5. I'm also going to add some tea tree oil, which is optional. I just like that it's antifungal, so it adds a fine touch to a pedicure bowl. So now you're going to slowly add your liquid to the dry ingredient bowl. You don't want to go too fast because the citric acid will activate and start to fizz. And you don't want that because you want your bath bombs to be what fizzes. So just add it in slowly, use your other hand to mix it in in a circular motion. You can pick up some of the dry powder and put it over top of the liquid to just get it combined. You'll scrape off the edges of your bowl and just mix it in. So once all your liquid is in there, you can go ahead and knead it a little bit because you do want it to start to hold together. So once it holds and has a nice crumbly look, you can continue on to the next step, which is adding the food colorant for some pigment. So I want a pink color, so I'm going to add 10 drops of red, and between 2 and 3 drops of yellow. I'm going to mix that in. If you're not happy with the color, you can add more of one or the other later. You just want to make sure that you get most of this already mixed in. If you're happy with the color, then just mix it, combine it all. And I'm happy with this color, so I'm not going to make any changes. So I'm using metal bath bomb molds, which I purchased on Amazon, which will be in my description below. When you put them together, it forms your ball. So you can go ahead and fill one of them. You want to make sure you push it down and compact it. If it's not tight enough, it's going to crumble when you take it apart. And you want to have a nice ball, so you do not want it to come apart. So now you can do the same with the other. Fill it up, press it down. Get it nice and squished. Now you're going to press both of them together, scraping out your excess. And then you're going to press firmly between the two balls so that they squish together. So you might have to tap the mold just so it comes out easily. And you'll have a perfect round bath bomb. You can clean up the excess if you want. 
Once that's done, you want to make sure that you give it 24 hours to dry, or you can put it in the fridge for three hours. So there you have it. Easy, quick bath bombs every time. I'll have a link in my description below for the ingredients that I used. Otherwise, have fun! Bubble, bubble!